For the first time during season 21 of American Idol, the contestants' futures are in the hands of viewers, with America's votes determining the top 20 during a three-hour episode on April 23, 2023. The episode also features guest performances by Motown legend Smokey Robinson and season 20 winner Noah Thompson with runner-up Hunter Girl. Viewers had the chance to vote for their favorites after ABC aired the top 26 contestants' performances in front of an audience at Disney's Aulani Resort and Spa in Hawaii on April 17 and 18. Tonight as host Ryan Seacrest reveals the results, each contestant who received enough votes to become part of the top 20 must perform again, vying for a spot in the top 12. After overnight voting by viewers, the top 12 will be announced during the season's first live episode tomorrow night, April 24. Ten contestants will be chosen by viewers while the final two will be selected by judges Katy Perry, Luke Bryan, and Lionel Richie, according to TV Guide. Spoiler alert, below, Heavy is reporting the results live, so keep checking back for the latest Top 20 updates. American Idol Top 20 results appearing on a new American Idol set in Hollywood. Seacrest opened the show by announcing that 700 Idol fans were in the audience to witness the top 20 reveals and performances, which he said had been determined by over 33 million votes. He then proceeded to begin announcing those who've advanced into the coveted top 20. Here are the latest results. Zachariah Smith, 20, from Amory, Mississippi. The first person to earn a spot in the top 20 was Smith, who revealed before performing that the tornadoes that roared through Mississippi in late March devastated his town, including the burger joint where he works and the home owned by his stepkid's dad. Saying it was beautiful to see everyone helping one another, Smith said he now feels like he is not only competing for himself and his family, but also for his city. Smith took the stage to sing I Want to Know What Love Is by Foreigner. Richie told him he chose the perfect song and Perry said that she thinks he is top 10 material. Matt Wilson, 21, from Buffalo, New York, in a pre-packaged segment, Wilson cried as he watched a video the kids he works with as a teacher's aide and his mom recalling how he's always dreamed of being a singer. Wilson saying Say You Won't Let Go by James Arthur and received a standing ovation from all three judges. Brian said he's loved watching Wilson come alive and to just let your voice soar while Richie told him he is absolutely on your way. Nalia Serenity, 22, from Charlotte, North Carolina, working as an astrologer since she was 16. Serenity shared insights about her work and said she believes her path to the idol stage was written in the stars for me. After Serenity sang Baby Love by Mother's Finest, Brian quipped, I'm no astrologer, but I can spot a star when I see one. Perry told her, you are an artist through and through. Warren P., 24, from Bomberg, South Carolina before singing, the appliance repairman opened up about overcoming a time in his life when he definitely had a problem with drinking. By the time he started playing and writing music for a local church, he said, he was able to not rely on alcohol to feel okay about himself and his path. P, whom the judges have often compared to country artist Chris Stapleton, Sang Up There Down Here by Zach Williams. Richie said that his story is a great example of how when a person learns to let go and let God, everything else falls into place. P. 
Perry said she also loved hearing more of P's story and thanked him for being vulnerable, while Brian called his performance world-class. Kaira, 21, from Algonquin, Illinois, before Kaira took the stage, Idol producer shared a video of her cooking traditional Polish recipes with her mom and talking about how her parents emigrated from Poland to the United States in their 20s. My parents sacrificed so much for me, she said. I'm kind of like a part of their mission. Chasing that American dream, being on American Idol, it's like it goes hand in hand. After singing Louis Capaldi's Bruises while playing a grand piano on stage, Perry told Kaira that her song arrangement and voice just smacked me across the face in the best way. Brian called it a breakout moment and awesome. Mariah Faith, 22, from Conway, South Carolina, Conway revealed how close she is with her family, sharing that she lives in her mom's backyard in a small home on her mom's four-acre property, and that her grandparents live two minutes away. The hairdresser shared that her grandparents, who had never been to Los Angeles, would be in the audience cheering her on. Faith sang Cry to Me by Solomon Burke, which Brian called a great performance and that he loved her look. Perry compared Faith to Bonnie Raitt because she can pull at a person's heartstrings or pull off a fun moment, and told Faith that striking such a balance is key. Yam Tongi, 18, from Kahuku, Hawaii, Tongi, who has the most Instagram followers of any of the top contestants and whose idol performances have gone viral on social media, told producers that having people recognize him is mind blowing. The high school student dedicated his initial audition song to his dad, whom he'd lost just weeks before singing for the judges, and said that he is still grieving that loss and is touched by how many people he's heard from who are also dealing with their own grief. With his mom cheering him on in the audience, Tongi played the winner takes all by ABBA. Richie said the audience's reaction said it all and Barry quipped, I guess it's the Iam Tongi show now, adding that his voice is timeless. Haven Madison, 17, from Clarksville, Tennessee, the high school junior said her life has completely flip-flopped upside down since her idol audition, adding that her high school community has been so supportive of her journey. The school threw a pep rally to celebrate her success thus far, and she said it's the coolest thing ever to get recognized more often than her dad, who has worked in the music industry for years. After singing Leanna Crawford's Mean Girls, Perry told her it was a great song choice because it sounded like something she could have written and added that, while she's always seemed like a star, she now has a refined sparkle to her. Brian told Madison it was one of the best performances he's seen her do and Richie said he's excited to watch where her career goes. Oliver Steele, 25, from Mount Juliet, Tennessee, in an interview that aired before Steele sang, he revealed that his dad, whose own music career ended after a debilitating stroke, had recently been hospitalized for several weeks and was unconscious and unresponsive for part of that time. Steele reported that his dad is now out of the hospital but on dialysis. I'm unable to be there for him right now for that, he said. It's just difficult. But at the same time, I just see this happiness coming from him as I go further in this competition. After singing his own composition, called Too Soon, Brian gave him a 10 out of 10 for being able to perform his own song for the first time on the show. Richie told him his talent is on fire. Lucy Love, 28, Holly Grove, Arkansas, 
While a pre-taped interview with her aired, Idol producer showed Love crying on stage as she listened to herself talking about what it was like growing up in poverty. I come from a very strong and supportive family, she said. We just didn't have anything growing up, that's all. I know about that. I know about wearing the same outfit for two and three weeks. I know about gluing my shoes back, clothes when they would tear up. Love sang an original song called Boulders about facing so much hardship and becoming the survivor of her own story. Perry told Love she's not just going to survive her story, but that you're gonna thrive and you're gonna show and you're going to be a leader. Brian said he loves how she attacks her songs and that she captured my heart with her music. Who's going home after the Top 20 reveal? Halfway through the April 23rd episode, Seacrest revealed three of the contestants who did not make it into the Top 20. PJ, 23, an R&B slash soul artist from Lawton, Oklahoma Elise Christine, 19, a Utah Valley University student from Issaquah, Washington Imabasi, 20, a theater school graduate from Burnaby. British Columbia, Canada